Hey everyone, welcome back to Terraria! Starting from the title screen, this time for reasons unknown. Literally, I have absolutely no idea why we're in the title screen. So, let's get into the actual game again! Finding if once we've found all our title frames. Um, okay. We're in our house. We've got a um, copper helmet. I think we got that like four episodes ago. Um, I'm sure I probably mentioned a bunch of things we were going to do, and I'm sure I've probably forgotten all of them. But for now, because this has really been annoying me in my videos, I'm going to put these torches back. <laughs> I actually got rid of these torches like in episode three, three or something, and now I've never actually put them back. But I meant to, so. Right, today's goals. Um, the main goal of today... Oh, yeah, someone told me I need to get rid of all the like weeds around here so the trees will actually grow. So let's do that and see if that helps. Monster! Today's goal is probably going to be to get this completely distracted again. But just take down some of these um, things. Okay, uh, today's goals. I want to attract a merchant here, and to attract a merchant here... What's that noise? Is that a zombie knocking on my door? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, so, so to attach a merchant here, I need to actually build him a house, which I'm going to do here. And I also need lots of money. I think 50 silver at least. Look at that. I'm doing so much more damage to these zombies now. Eight damage per eight damage per hit. So that's pretty nice looking. But these thing, these wires just keep growing back. That's kind of annoying. But yeah, apparently they need a space of air next to them in order to actually grow. So apparently that's why they weren't. Okay, I'll need to move that torch if they need a space of air, won't I? All right. So here is where I'm going to build Merchant's house. This is going to be. Oh, I didn't mean to dig that out, but what? Uh, let's put that back. Nothing like nothing happened. You can dig a bit faster now. That's going to be useful. Um, yeah, I'll just like, yeah, there we go. <laughs> we'll just leave that there. Just a little random floating block with a thingy on. So I'm not going to make his house very big, but because it's going to take longer to do wood walls and he's not paying me for this, so I'm frankly going to do a super half assed effort. But he will need a house to live in. So... Do I have any wood? I do have 120 wood. I probably have like more... I, I probably have wood walls somewhere in one of the chests. Where's my sword? There it is. I think I need to start using number keybinds as well because uh, the mouse wheel is kind of slow scrolling. Uh, well, not slow, but like inaccurate scrolling. But <sighs> Sorry, there's like... The... But then again, numbers are like much less easy to access. Although I have got a Naga, so I could probably like... If I switch my Naga to number mode. Yeah, look at that. I can switch between things with my Naga. How do I get to the zero? There we go. Look at that. I can switch things with my Naga. That's awesome. Now if I just remember which keys everything's bound to, that'll be fine. Ah, oh, the joys of having a Naga. Whoa, don't fall on me. <laughs> I was juggling that zombie for a second there. Ah, uh, Demon Eye. They're probably not the best idea to do this in the middle of the night, but I wanted to do this in the middle of the night uh, because... I actually need a lot of money, and monsters drop money. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if zombies drop money. Zombies, do you have? Do you? Have, are, you are you capitalist zombies? Do you? Uh... Yes, you do. Okay, cool. That's all I needed to know. That's all I needed to know. How much money do we actually have? Twenty-two silver coins. So it's gonna take a long time. <laughs> Realistically, um, how am I gonna actually do this house? There's a load of rotting flesh over here. I don't really. I kind of wish that wasn't there, but this is going to be like the floor. Uh, go away. How wide are we actually going to have to make it? Because if I like put the door here. Which is awesome because then he can have a tree growing on his house. And this is like the porch, so I like dig, like build up a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Um, I don't know how like far back I need to have it. I know I need to have a bunch of things in it. I think that'll do. I think that'll do. I think I'll put all this dirt back. And this is going to be um, Merchant's House. Doesn't that look awesome? I accept I'm going to have to hammer it all out. Do I have an iron hammer? Yes, I do. So that'll be a lot faster. Oh my god, that is so much faster than it was before. <laughs> I am so glad of that. Wasn't I saying something? Oh yeah, uh, objectives. So each day is going to have like a certain number of objectives going with it, now that I know roughly how the game works and what kind of objectives there are. 
So today's objectives are to get 50 silver so we can get a merchant here. Um, build merchant to house, which we're doing now. And carry on exploring the actual surface. So we're probably not going to be going to any caves today. But I do want to explore to the... Go away. Go away. <laughs> that was the worst switching out to a sword I've ever done. I do kind of want to explore the surface, because we went, we went super far to the left and found the corruption, apparently it's called. So I'm just going to call it the barren left world. And that's pretty cool. So I want to see if we can go find the same thing to the right or something. See if we can find that. And then we'll explore the left and the right so we have an idea of how wide the world is at least. Need a door. Don't want any doors on me. I think I have tables in one of my chests somewhere. I also need wood walls, which I don't have, and light source. There's your light source. Actually, you can have two light sources, heck. <laughs> I'm going to spoil you. I'm going to spoil this guy a little bit. Two light sources. Three light sources, even, actually. Because I put one on the front of his house as well. Yeah, this is like the best house ever. This is like the... This guy to move here to my house again, by the way. I didn't see him in my house. Oh, yes, he's gone to live in his house. Awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy for you guys, you've finally grown up and moved out, and one of my trees has just grown awesome. Things are going pretty well, things are going pretty good. I think I'm going to have to actually, like, extend this wood over here. Should that be wood or should it be mud? I'm thinking probably mud. Let's get rid of this wood that I just spent all that time putting down. And instead put some mud there. So I'm going to need door, table, chair, and wood walls. How many wood walls? Plenty. That's all I can say about that. Plenty. Open the door. I don't want to place things. Wow, that was... Was that on that low health? I don't... <laughs> Clearly I must have been. Oh, I've lost means I've lost money. I think I need to start... Oh, look at a lot of money. Oh, right. No, it's over there. It's okay. It's okay, it's just over there. Open the... I can't open the door! There's that freaking dirt block, I think. Hopefully I can pick up that money in time. Yay. Is that all of it? Yes, it was. Right, back to 25 silver. 26 silver, even. So we are getting quite a decent amount of money from those. We'll have to just go on a nighttime killing spree at some point. Uh, where I put? I've got loads of wood walls, which I will need. I just threw on the floor. Excellent. Uh, I think this one was my crafted things I, I don't need right now. So I can take a chair out of there, table out of there. And I need a door, which I can just craft down here. If I can find the doors. Nope, it's down there. <laughs> you know, I am also going to actually make two signs so I can put them in front of Merchant and Guide House. So I'm going to set my spawn point again by accident. But that's okay. Why did I put a torch and a block on the... Oh. Okay, that's kind of cool. So because I put... Because I already had the torch there. And then I put the dirt block there. It kind of went onto the dirt block. That's really weird. <laughs> oh, star piece. That's just disappeared. Because it's no sunrise. Oh well. We get the jolly music again. Jolly music. And now I want to place... Um... That, 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 and that. So he's got a table, which is in the wrong place, and that's just going to aggravate me if I don't di remove it and put it in the right place. There, he's got a chair. He's got a slime coming after me. And all these... Oh, wait. All these things are growing again, so I have to destroy those. That's kind of annoying about trees. They have to have a block of space next to them. And we can put a door down. I don't know why I placed all that, because now I'm placing... Oh, wait, no, I can, I can place the wood walls without destroying them, can't I? And I'll put a little sign there, look at that, we've got, uh, merch... Yeah. Merchant's house. I can't think of anything witty to put here. Just sell me stuff. Perfect. So we've got a little house for merchants, we can put some walls in, in the wrong place. And that means I'm going to have to destroy the door, because it's just in the entirely wrong place. Oh, and I've got one over there, which means I've got to destroy the tree again. 
This this is just going all kinds of badly. I got, I, at least I have plenty of wood, so that's that's an upside. Can I destroy that without destroying the door? Uh, no, nope. couldn't do it. Couldn't manage it. Couldn't manage it. Now let's destroy the tree. No, it won't. Yay! And just because that looks kind of ugly, I'm going to put a dirt block down there. There we go. We got another. We got another house for merchant. And I'm going to put a sign in front of this guy's house. And I might have to clear away these weeds first. And I'm going to put a dirt block down there because that just looks ugly. And put that there. Sweet. Guide's house. Because he's finally old enough to move the hell out of mine. Go away, freaking... <laughs> he's stuck down there. <laughs> oh no, he's not. Ugh, fine. Killing, killing slime is pretty easily though. Killing, I think, I think um, with all the upgrades I got last time, I should stand a better chance either going deep down or going to the corruption. So naturally, we are going to go off in a different direction from both of those things and just go to the right. Hopefully, my forest will grow by the time I get back, and hopefully, it won't be overrun with vines or anything like that, like this or something. It's around uh, the Buquis is now playing Plants vs Zombies because I forgot to sign out of Steam. Uh, which I usually do. <laughs> oh well. Lots of mushrooms growing, which are good. I, I, I'm going to stop destroying um, grass. I'm just going to get some mushrooms. So, so today's exploration voyage is going to be seeing how far to the right we can go. Some random caves here. I don't really want to fall in. Let's go up here. Go. So this is this is as far as I've come before because I remember stopping at the trees. Oh, these are super tall trees as well. Jeez, what is with these super tall trees? What kind of chemicals are they putting in the ground to grow trees this tall? Still on the lookout for iron or copper or anything that can grow at the surface. What the? Is this just like random floating single blocks of dirt? That's just ugly, and I'm getting rid of that. <laughs> I can't stand ugly things in my world. Can't stand ugly things in my world. It makes me wonder why I'm in my world. Oh, shut up. More mushrooms. Mushrooms are good. I'm not sure how much health... I'm not, well, I know mushrooms regenerate 20 health. I'm not sure how much health anything else regenerates, if that's any good. Oh, big cave, I want to explore you! But no, we're not going underground in this episode. We're not going underground in this episode. We're going on the surface to the right. I am... <laughs> so as soon as I say that, we're going underground. What's that? Is that the sound of my pick? Iron hitting iron or something. Huh, that's pretty cool. That's definitely a different noise than it was making last time. Unless it wasn't and I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, lots of viney caves down here. Look at that. Look at how viney this place is. Look at those going underground when I said we weren't. Look at that. Look, look at that. That's good. Just like chopping down vines. I don't really like the vines. I'm chopping down vines at any possible possibility. Plus there's pots here, so. Lots of things you can find in pots, like health potions or... Okay, this tree's just too tall to pass up. <laughs> I can pass up most trees, because I don't need that wood right now, but not that. That was just like, that was like three acorns in there. More giant trees, some tiny trees, don't care. Is that iron down there? It is... I still don't have a full set of armor. I still need like pants and a shirt. So, still need a lot of minerals. Whoa! Slow down. Whoa! Slow down. Whoa! Slow down. Whoa! Lag. Whoa, what's what's going on there? What's going on, lag? What? What? what, what why? Are you, why are you being so mean? I'm gonna get my sword ready. Uh, My, is my does my iron sword like is it an iron sword? No, it's a silver sword. Does that like push him back further? Because it feels like it is. It feels like it's pushing like f super far. Uh, super far. Okay, it's not. It's all in my head. It's all my imagination. I'm gonna have to kill all these things before they come charging into my hole with me or something. All I want is this iron. All I want is to steal your iron. I mean. Come on, it's not that big. It's not like it's that much iron. Steal all this iron before that blue slime gets to me and messes up my day. 
Hopefully I can jump out. I can't. Can't even destroy anything because uh, there's a tree in the way and you can't destroy things under trees. No, oh, go away. Purple slime coming. Uh, we've seen one of those near the corruption before, so I'm thinking maybe we're near the corruption now. If so, this is actually a small world. Uh, widthways, anyway. It's a bit larger downways. Unless it's something after the corruption, I'm not sure. It seems like there probably is, but I definitely won't be able to reach it yet. So that's that's something to aim for, you know? Something to aim for in our little quest. Got more mushrooms, more trees, 